Hi, I'm Kino McGregor. We're here at Miami Life Center. Today we're going to be taking a look at Crown Chasana. This posture, the second one of the intermediate series, often is deceptively simple. So let's just break that down into some of the core elements that are there. You would jump through to a seated position, or you could jump, jump directly to having the right knee bent backwards, right? If you jump into the posture, you miss that little chance to bring the calf muscle out to the side rotating deep within the body. You want to feel an internal rotation and a grounding through the right hip. This alignment is sort of the basis for crown chasana. Now a lot of people lift their, their other leg off the ground by bending the knee and leaning back. But as soon as you lean back, you round the lower back. I would recommend that you try to keep the spine tipped a little bit forward so you're lifting straight up along the center line. And then you would engage your left leg, leaving the hands on the ground, and try just to bring the left leg high by itself reach forward with two straight arms but repositioning the pelvis if you need to a little bit from here if you can reach all the way around and hold onto the wrist you will pause here inhale looking up and now you want to avoid the temptation to pull with the arms too much instead do the work of the posture by sucking in on the stomach and deepening the movement inside of the left hip joint so the leg moves forward to the torso this will prevent you from rounding your back and leaning forward. It really doesn't matter whether your head touches the ground as long as you're feeling that lift through the spine. Every inhalation is going to lift the spine higher. Every exhalation will bring you deeper into the movement. Now eventually you need a small application of the arms, but you don't want the posture to be about the arms. The idea is that if you let go, your foot would remain just at the same height. That will allow you the same strength to lift up all the way back. You would inhale into upward facing, exhale all the way down. When you jump forward, you want to make sure that you keep the integrity of the posture so you're moving deep within the body and you feel weight transferring into the front of the, the body. You don't just want to slide forward, but you really want to feel the whole movement happening. I'll show you what that looks like from downward dog. So from downward dog, you press forward into the shoulders, inhale, transfer the weight forward, and exhale, nice slow landing. And then the leg's already lifted. And remember, we're lifting the leg, not by rounding the back and bending it, but by keeping the spine as straight and erect as possible, dropping the head of the thigh bone deep into the socket. We reach forward, either holding onto the foot, or if you can reach all the way around and hold onto the wrist. Inhale, you lift the spine up out of the pelvis, and then you initiate the motion from the pelvis itself. So you exhale, bend deep inside the hip socket. Try not to do the work so much with the arms, but let the leg lift itself. And let it lift it closer and closer into the body, deeper in the hip socket. And if you need a last moment, you can reach the chin slightly forward, but it really doesn't matter whether you touch the ground as long as you're feeling that straight movement out through the leg. After five breaths, inhale, lifting the spine forward. And remember, the leg is lifting itself, so when you release the hands, the leg stays lifted. And then you exhale, transfer the weight forward to jump back. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing. These are some tips for crown chasana that'll help you get deeper into the core work of the posture. This same movement will come back later when you're needed, when it required actually to lift the leg by itself. Learn the lesson that each part of the body is responsible for lifting itself. So you don't do the work of the legs with the arms, you don't do the work of the arms with another part. All the parts of the body have to come together like a beautiful symphony that plays the harmony of life within your body. I'm Kino McGregor and these are some tips for crown chasana.